Welcome to the Maldives Tour Guide. The goal of this video is to provide some advice and answer some of the most common questions people have concerning Maldives transfers. Maldives transfers are the most difficult challenge for locals and tourists in the Maldives. If you are a first time First of all, you need to understand the different types of hotels in the Maldives and where they are located before booking for a hotel or hotel transfer. The Maldives is one of the world's most dispersed countries, with over 1,200 islands separated by the ocean. As a result, the Maldives has only 1% land and 99% ocean. There are two types of hotels in the Maldives. The first, known as resorts, while the second are known as guest houses. Resorts are uninhabited private islands leased solely for the purpose of tourism, while guest houses are built on local islands. When it comes to selecting a mode of transportation in the Maldives, the options are limited due to the lack of a transportation network that connects the entire country. Some islands are connected by public ferry boats, while others require domestic flights, and some islands require both domestic flights and ferry boats. Let's take a look at public transportation in the Maldives. The country is divided into 22 atolls, and the government operates province ferries in each of them. These ferries run once a week, in some atolls, but once a day in the capital atoll. The problem is that these ferries only stop at local islands, which means you can't visit resorts from them, and they're not very reliable because ferries are frequently cancelled when the weather is bad. Aside from the government-run public ferries, some private companies run public scheduled speedboats to the local islands, but they also only stop to local islands. Speedboats are unquestionably faster than ferry boats, but they are also more expensive. Now you're probably wondering how to get to the resorts. If your hotel is close by, you can hire private speedboats. You can book seaplane tickets or domestic airplane tickets for distant islands. There are 15 domestic airports in the Maldives, the majority of which are on uninhabited islands, so you'll have to book a sea transfer once you arrive at those domestic airports. You can see our scheduled speedboats on the link below, and we can also arrange speedboats from Malé International Airport to nearby islands. Let's have a look at the most frequent questions. What is the boat's top speed? Speedboats travel at 30 to 40 nautical miles per hour, while ferries travel at 7 to 10 nautical miles per hour. Is there a transfer booking zoom or counter at the 
airport? No, there are none. All transfers must be prearranged prior to your arrival. Is it possible to make reservations for public ferries over the internet? Unfortunately, there is no online platform for that. You will have to go to the ferry terminals and purchase tickets. We can arrange private speedboats online if you need them. Is traveling by sea a safe option? To be honest, there have been few incidents as a result of bad weather, so we recommend that you wear your life jackets the entire time you are on the boat, especially if the sea is rough. All passenger boats are required to provide life jackets for their passengers. How do I make a reservation for a seaplane transfer? If you want to book a shared seaplane transfer, you must do so directly with your resort or through an agent who has a contract with the same resort. However, if you want to hire a seaplane privately, we can help you with that.